kill it. And then after when it's finished, then you snuffed out. Thank you again, who, Dr. Who snuck out? Thank Your you. Your presentation yesterday. Yeah, I heard that, but then you said it, and then somebody snuck out? I was out? totally in it. Ah, okay. When it's over, uh -huh. I, then it snuffed out. Yeah. Oh. I felt it. I felt the electricity. I felt the energy. The energy was flowing. I felt it. Wow. Yeah. That's that's amazing. You're yeah. blessed. Yeah. To yeah. feel that. Yes. So Peter, that's what I was talking to you about. Mm. You know, um, that's what we do on Mondays. Mm. And I was hoping you would join us. Um, from next week, my time will be very tight. Mm. Okay. So um, I might only attend one thing, but not the rest, because yeah, it's too much registration. Everything of the my daughter is starting a university. Oh, congratulations! Right, that's so, a big day. <clears throat> Right. Under so, COVID nineteen, yes, poor girl. So I will be busy until the school start. I will be able to know what my time is like. Okay, so we're going to start. It's the hour. It's ten o'clock where I am. So let's get started. Yeah. So welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to our final day of MMVC twenty. This is Nellie Deutsch, and it gives me great pleasure to um, introduce our speakers, uh, my colleagues, my Moodlers, the Moodlers, an amazing team that have been working together for about four months now. That's what Anna said yesterday, that yes. you've been together for four months and collaborating and doing amazing things and giving me a lot of aha moments. I just, I think I got fat just from all these wonderful moments of pleasure. So uh, I'm gonna put myself in the background and let you guys take over. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nelly. So hi everyone, hi Mushtaq, hi Peter. Hello, Pat. Hi Anupama. Mushtaq is now going to share our slide and our presentation. Hi Pat. So, yeah. So would you like me to introduce you, Mushtaq Hosen? Mushtaq Hosen yeah. is a great person to begin with. <laughs> He's an assistant professor at ICFAI Business School, Hyderabad, India. He teaches management graduates and undergraduates and handles courses in business communication and soft skills. He has over 17 years of experience in academics as well as industry. His area of interest is business English, cross-cultural communication, educational technology, educational psychology, global skills, and many more. He presented several research papers in international and national conferences. He has delivered more than 40 lectures in MPD, MPAPs and FDPs, workshops, seminars, webinars, and guest lectures on date. His hobbies are drawing, well, you can see his background there, painting, graphic design, de traveling, listening to music, and I would say helping others achieve their goals. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. So it's my pleasure to 
introduce my colleague Patricia. She is an educator, ESOL Cambridge examiner, and certified translator. Her background includes over 15 years in education career services, and she is passionate about supporting learner autonomy, working in collaborative teams, promoting personal growth, and envisioning, envisioning a life of meaning. Patricia holds bachelor's of education and a master's degree in legal translation and court interpreting awarded by the University of BA. She has acted as court interpreter and translator for the past 10 years and was head of the Novice Translators Committee at the Swan Translators Association in BA. Thank you. Over to Anupama. Part, part Duraj. Anupama. Yeah, Peter, Peter, please. Sorry. Let, let Pat do it. Pat, do it for me, please. Sure, with pleasure, my friend. Dr. Anupama Rahalkar has over 25 years experience in education and corporate sector. She has worked as a teacher from class one to MBA, as lecturer and assistant professor in a teacher training college. She was engaged with a non-governmental organization for developing school quality in various parts of the country. Presently, Anupama is working independently for developing learning material for online education for all classes. Qualifications, Masters in Economics from Gokhale Institute of Politics and Economics, Savitribai Pune, Pune University, earlier University of Pune, Masters in Education, Adarsha Comprehensive College of Education and Research, Savitribai Pune, Pune University, early University of Pune, and Doctor of Philosophy in Education from Sabita Tribai Pui Puni University. Her doctoral topic being Program for Developing Global Competency Amongst Bachelor of, of Education Students. Over to Peter. Mushtaq or Peter, please. Yeah. Mushtaq. Yeah. So, Peter. So our good friend, uh, he's an MA, BFA, BSMIS, PG Diploma Education, UAV pilot from Kingston, Jamaica, lecture of technology in classroom, information technology for arti artists and entrepreneurs, visual communication, lecture in graphics designs at Edna Manley College of the Visual Performing Arts for the last 17 years. He also lecture at International University of Caribbean Principle of Television Production and Web Page Design from 2015 to 2019. Peter, he is a passionate commercial aviator, pilot over five years. He own and operate UAV and specializes in documentary film. Presently, he exploring methods of producing excellent audio workstation. As a lecturer who uses Moodle as platform, he engages his student through the VisaIQ, Zoom, Screencast-O-Matic, and most of the live online engagement tools to promote and create harmonious interaction engagement between the learner and the facilitator. Peter is a proud graduate of Ohio State University, University of Technology, Jamaica, Edna Manley College. Thank you. Okay. So with this, we are going to start our presentation. I am very pleased. Okay, so since Dr. Nelly has introduced as Moodlers, yes, we are Moodlers. <laughs> we are immer immersed as Moodlers. We drink Moodle, we I eat see. Moodle, and see. we do everything. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And uh, with your kind permission, we'd like to introduce this tagline, uh, Dr. Nelly, that is transforming professional lives and this is for your platform the platform which you offered us that is Moodle for teachers it has really transformed our lives we were just attending some of the other webinars once this pandemic started but we were waiting okay what to take what kind of courses we need to take so that 
we can develop our professional this thing then okay i don't know i really do not understand i mean what kind of media i come across then i got this uh, message somewhere on on social media and then i just joined a uh, uh, first our first ever course that is live online virtual engagement that is love and since then our lives have transformed professionally and we have been working day in day out and we can see that application in our online teaching too okay so we are not just learning over here we are applying in our okay uh, daily life in our professional life okay so this is how i mean this tagline matches a lot okay model for teachers yes it is transforming professional lives Thank you, Mushtaq. Thank you, Nelly, for organizing this event, having us here and giving us the opportunity to meet visionary and proactive colleagues who share the same passion we feel for education, innovation, and lifelong learning. The courses offered on Moodle for teachers have definitely transformed our lives, as Mushtaq has said. Nelly has prompted us to invest not only in mindset, but also in heart set. She has empowered us to the point of inspiring us to dream big and intend to leave a mark on the world map. Therefore, map stamp. This is just a glimpse of some of the people who have worked with us throughout our courses. And these nine people are the founding members of map stamp. You might surely be wondering what map stamp is actually. Well, the name derives from the first letters in our names. So you will see the M stands for Maria Mokgola. A is for Anupama and Ahmed, S is for Sophie, T for Taragi, and P for Peter and myself. So going from left to right, we have Ahmed Makazi from Morocco, Anupama Rahulkar from India, Maria Floraki from Greece, Mokgola Songo from South Africa, Mushtaq SM from India, myself, Patricia Andrade from Argentina, Peter Omar from Jamaica, Sophie Chaluka from Australia, and Taragi Al Saidi from Egypt. Dr. Nelly is our mentor, and we are deeply grateful to her, you and our colleagues, for sharing this transforma transformational journey with us. Thank you. Mushtaq? Yes. So we have just introduced our team, that is MapStamp. So we are representing our team. So here you can see I'm from India, Patricia is from Argentina, Anu Amupama from India, and Peter from Jamaica. Now, just to give you a glance of cultural diversity, okay, you must have already seen in previous slide. So we are from different countries, okay. But as far as collaboration is concerned, teamwork is concerned, peer learning is concerned, there are no differences at all. If you if you look at these differences, cultural differences, okay, based on a uh, Hofstede's cultural uh, uh, elements or dimensions. So you can see these differences, but these differences do not, do not make any difference to us. Okay, so we have been growing. We have been growing uh, since we have joined uh, these courses. So now let me begin with our uh, objective. So our objective is to just take you through our journey, this beautiful journey on model for teachers. So this is what we have taken up so far. Okay, so we have started a live online virtual engagement somewhere in uh, 1st April 2020, and it ended on uh, May 31st, 2020. Then immediately after May, we started our new course that is MM15, Moodle MOOC 15. And after that, in July, we started managed a Moodle course and the journey continues. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to discuss all these courses in detail one by one. So the first course is live online virtual engagement. So what did we do in this course is we explored a lot of technology. We explored number of platforms. We explored the importance of being together, collaboration, peer learning. Now here I have put some of the platforms which we used. And how did we use? We, we did a lot of hands-on practice. So what kind of hands-on practice did we do? Actually, if you look at any one of the tool or the platform, so we used to create two to three different video tutorials. 
we used to uh, make tutorials on how to use that application what are the features of that application or platform and we used to give i mean short presentations to our team members and one more important thing we did everything in a team okay there was no scope for individual this thing and that's why we learned like anything okay and still i mean you can imagine a team with different background with different uh, cultural background and still they are there they are uh, still they are very much active i'm going to show you some of the examples which we did okay on padlet wall so i'll just i mean it is not possible to explore each and every every platform over here so what i can do is i'm going to show you couple of examples from padlet and couple of examples from uh, uh, video tutorials so here we go now uh, this padlet wall is taken from one of the courses that is mm15 yes since number of posts are more so it might take few seconds to upload so patience is appreciated so here you can see this is our padlet wall of moodle mooc 15 so it's huge you can see this number must be in three digits okay so you will find the content you will find videos you will find pictures you will find you can see over here so it's it's i mean we were number of participants on this course and this is the magic of this peer learning this is the magic of this collaboration now let me take you through one more examples where we created number of video tutorials so here i click on to okay this is just uh, example of my video tutorials similarly all our team members have created similar kind of video tutorials yes so you will find more than 50 odd video tutorials for last i mean uh, uh, say 3 to 4 months so you have got video tutorial for each and everything so as a faculty member as a teacher maybe if you explore these video tutorials you will learn all these things but we would highly recommend you to take up some courses on moodle for teachers so that you learn in real sense otherwise we are aware we are familiar with number of platforms but when it comes to practice but when it comes to okay exploring it in detail so we fail to do so so it's always better to okay take up the course and learn it better okay let me get back to the course again so similarly you can find we have got some platforms which can be used synchronously and there are some platforms which can be used asynchronously so we did all of them and apart from that you will find one zoom over here so we used to meet on weekly basis and our mentor facilitator guide philosopher dr neli used to guide us okay and she used to tell us i mean what you are supposed to do for next week and th this is what we did okay now with this let me take you to the next course that is moodle mooc 15 or to anupama thank you mushtaq it is such a pleasure to be a part of this uh, conference i'm going to tell you our experience on moodle mooc 15 as uh, we saw in the earlier slide in the lov course we learned as teachers how to conduct an online course but in moodle mooc we knew how to have our own course on moodle we learned to design our own online course and in the process in the process of uh, reaching the mooc 15 objective we learned as educators to integrate technology for instruction and learning through reflective practice and collaborative learning and um, it also led to a lot of social and cultural exchange because we got to meet so many people from so many different countries and learn about them but how did all this happen it happened through all these steps of teaming up of planning the syllabus of designing a policy for the course as a team through meetings and through various other activities i'm going to tell you about all this now um uh, in mooc 15 uh, the learners were required to team up on their own and mushtaq took the initiative to organize the team and knowing mushtaq from the previous course the rest of us quickly joined him and uh, he not only took the initiative in forming the team but he also designed the team policy keeping in mind the democratic spirit thus he encouraged all of us to freely share our ideas 
and to come contribute to the development of the online course. We organized weekly meetings through his initiative, he showed us the path. We organized a weekly meeting, sometimes once a week, sometimes twice a week, because that was the necessity of the, we felt short of time uh, trying to come up with a good course. And uh, our facilitator, Nelly, had provided the syllabus template for the course. So the syllabus actually evolved through the teamwork. How did it evolve? Mushtaq would organize the meetings and we would all discuss what the course uh, should be like, what we wanted in our course, how we should go about it. And through the discussions, uh, which Pat uh, sincerely, seriously maintained the minutes of the meeting and kept all of us on track throughout the course. So uh, Mushtaq was leading, Pat was uh, keeping all of us on the path. And um, Sophie and uh, Anupama, that is myself, uh, we worked on developing the content of the course and we decided how we are going to conduct the course through the session flow in all the four weeks, the duration of the course that we had designed. Peter designed the logo for our wellness, a healthy, happy you course. And uh, Ahmed here, he designed the batches and the certificates. He gave us also some guidance about how we can integrate technology in our course. Makola and Taragi, they did the most important job of keeping us on track. They find come through our content, they find come through our work, pointed out things that we need to make practical, feasible for online learners. And uh, thus we could uh, create a truly meaningful, efficient course. So this is how we progress through the syllabus and through developing the course, through the meetings and maintaining the team policy. But last and definitely not the least is the resources and activities part. Here, I would like to thank the facilitator because without these technological support, it would not have been able to make an interactive course, to develop a course which would be truly meaningful. And that would have been a limitation of a learning management system. So uh, thank you, Nelly, for providing all these resources and activities which we used. We could insert pictures for references. We could insert documents, provide links, PDF files. We could um, start, uh, we could help um, in putting in an online book or a journal. Labels could be introduced, student folders and teacher folders. You can see these were all, these are also some of the things that we could add to our courses, discussion forums. Uh, apart from that, we also had H5P. I'm just going through the main, main things that we did. H5P for interactive activity where we could have quiz and questionnaires. So students can feel engaged. They can be part of the entire learning process. And yes, these are the images of uh, the activities and resources that are offered in MOOC 15 and which can be incorporated in the course that we create and we can make the learning interactive and interesting. So uh, to say, uh, in, in a summing up way, I would say that we learned a great deal in MOOC 15 as educators to integrate technology. And it left us wanting more and more. We wanted to learn more. And what more we learned, Peter will tell you here onwards. Peter, over to you. So before we go to Peter, I want to describe the course we developed under MM, um, Moodle MOOC 15, uh, which Anupama has just talked about. It is called uh, Wellness, a Healthy and Happy You. Yesterday, Nelly talked about her course, Self-Care for Educators. And today, Abba Sharma also talked about the importance of well-being. We understand the importance of well-being because the better we know ourselves, the more we invest in our personal growth, the better we are going to relate with others. That is students, families, colleagues, and individuals at large. And this pandemic has given us the chance to look inside and accept ourselves for who we are. Wellness is a, a four-week course which deals with taking care of thoughts, emotions, and the way you deal with your problems. So let me draw your attention to the logo on the right. You will see how each of the four topics dealt within the course is presented. The first week deals with emotions, and that's why we've got hearts there. The second one deals with resilience, 
which is represented by the plant growing against all odds. By the way, this wonderful logo was designed by Peter, who will talk next. Peter, um, week three deals with relationships and is what the two hands helping each other stand for. And finally, you notice the small logo of our MM15 team, which is an example of engagement and social connection. Therefore, if we look at the mind map on collaborative courses on Moodle, and especially on Moodle for teachers, we will see the first thing we would like to point out, the role of the facilitator. The courses offered by Nelly are different from other courses on Moodle or other LMS platforms from universities. She, in her role of facilitator, offers support forums for every week where you can share your queries and get prompt answers. This is a treasure. The second aspect of these courses is engagement. By using forums, participants are required to interact and provide meaningful and constructive feedback in order to have their activities marked as complete. And by doing so, many global skills are put into practice, such as communication, collaboration, empathy, leadership. Well, Mushtaq has proved to be a great leader. Um, so that takes us to our next point, number three, teamwork. Self-selection groups, which he calls teaming up, are used to work in teams and decide on the syllabus, team policy and meetings, what Anupama has just spoken about. Next is point four, which highlights hand-on projects, which are the backstone of Education 3.0. This reflects how participants play with information and platforms. Many activities require them to record tutorials as Mushtaq has just shown you. And we all know that if you have to teach something, you need to understand it yourself first. Number five highlights the importance of communities with shared values and goals, such as access through education, through educational resources, open educational resources, and that, and Nelly is a leader in that sense, equity and inclusion, quality and lifelong learning. Um, this is closely linked to point six, uh, the yellow one, the last one, which is personal growth and envisioning. By developing this wellness course, we ourselves boosted our personal growth journey and have learned about emotions, resilience, meditation, random acts of kindness and gratitude. What is envisioning? It is dreaming big. When you dream big, your problems become small. And when you discover that what you should be looking for is not living a life of happiness, but rather a life of meaning, you understand that you're here to serve others. Her causes, have prompted us to dream big. So thank you. Peter, over to you. Oh, hello everybody. You are here in Jamaica now. You're coming live from Jamaica. So after, this, after the conference, I invite everyone for lunch here and drinks, including Mustak and everyone, and hop and jumping up and all of that. All right. <clears throat> Um, we had a wonderful journey um, managing Moodle. Uh, okay, Moodle is is a is a wide and big um, software that can help teachers to do some um, learning management system. It provides you with all the tools that you need. So. In the process of our learning, we learn so many things. We learn how to create our um, courses. We learn how to manage every single aspect of it. We learn how to conduct classes using uh, the Moodle. Now, within the Moodle also, you'll find that the administrator have the full control, is the powerman, the big boss. Meaning that the administrator can set restrictions, can allow you the access, can restrict you from going to certain things. No, the administrator leave the, the whole responsibility to the managers. So the manager also has certain function that we learn. Likewise, <clears throat> the manager deal with authentication, managing the accounts, um, setting the rules and permissions, 
And enrollment, the student enrollment, these are the work of the managers. So I was hearing over some time people making certain comments that, oh, Moodle, is really Moodle good? Is it really Moodle for me? Yes, the answer is yes. Moodle can do so many things for you. You can design anything that you need. You can save files. You can communicate directly with the student. You can engage. You can have the meetings and all of that. You can exchange it. You can track the student activities. So you cannot escape anything within the Moodle without being scrutinized. So now again, within that, we have what is called a site um, wide site setting, you know, how you can set the site, the language, you know, because in the past we had been having problem where Taraji will be saying that, okay, she's getting a different language instead of the English and all of that. So the Moodle take care of all of those kind of things. So Moodle give you the whole aspect of it. Uh, <coughs> it provides you with a free server. You can back up your work meaning that all your student work will be there. Is it not amazing? You should be very grateful. By the way, do you know that Moodle is an open source? You can get it without any cost. And it was developed by one of the teachers. It's amazing. So we should utilize and capitalize on it. Now, a lot of person now, they're intimidated with a lot of interface, a lot of Many things jumping onto their face, they get so intimidated. They don't take time to understand. You take time to understand it, and then Moodle will become your friend. You don't have to go to the classroom. You just stay there and conduct everything. You can engage the student. For instance, the, those number of activities, which was um, the application which was mentioned before, like the Quizlet, Weeklet and a Padlet, you can incorporate it. But the, the biggest problem, the biggest problem is that um, a lot of persons still sticking to the old, the old mentality where they have to stick into that. No, COVID has changed everything, people. Whether you like it or not, you have to integrate this technology. So Moodle. And Moodle site is the only best option for you to explore. All right, next slide, please. Hey, what does it look like to learn online? We, this, we did see Mostak with a lot of excitement on his face. And a Palmer said, okay, you can't stop. Once you start, you cannot stop. It draws you in. It's very engaging. You know, it becomes so engaging that sometimes Mustak forget to go to sleep. I had to tell her. Tell him, okay, Mustak, it's time for you. Time to go to sleep. I'm in Jamaica. Mustak is in there. So we are in the opposite time completely. It's very engaging and flexible. Mustak will stay up to two, three in the morning. Meanwhile, I'm just getting out of my bed. So these are the flexibility that we have. No. Also, that you'll find that uh, the Moodle site give you uh, the flexibility. You're flexible from your normal everyday job with your family. You can get it done. You can leave messages. You can leave video messages like what um, Pat normally do. If somebody run into a slight problem, Pat say, "Okay, hold on." So we do a video message and post it. This are the flexibility. We need to be very thankful. We need to be very excited about it. The only problem that we have is that we tend to be afraid of the technology. It is here to stay. Whether you like it or not, the technology is here. Whether you like it or not, you have to learn the Moodle. Moodle is the only bet for you out. The only way that you'll communicate. All right. <clears throat> Teamwork. A. Hey. You did see it already. We had a wonderful teamwork. Morocco, India, Egypt, Argentina, you name it. No, I never liked the whole the whole idea of the teamwork. 
this is my personal expression because you'll find that most talk and uh, uh, pot they'll be late at night pinging i'm trying to get to my sleep i cannot sleep because most talk is in the morning part is already in the evening i'm trying to get the sleep hours hello anyway it's exciting that's on the good side of it it's exciting it's very good uh you get to know the culture you get to know the people you get to know so many things <clears throat> All right, also it provides collaborations and peer learning. Um, we learn a lot. Dr. Anna Palmer provides us with the framework of guidance in terms of following things. Uh, Mustak provides us with org org uh, being organized, being on time. Part also gives us, okay, time is a key factor. Like we are talking now, we are getting being prompt. Time, 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 time. You'll find that the whole group is organized. It's organized the tea. It provides us with authentic learning and hands on project, which we did. We need to thank Dr. Nelly for making us, okay, she normally say, well, people, I, I prefer to drop you in the water and then you find your way from there. The, you know, it provides you with that avenue. Um, what else can I tell you guys? It's exciting. Ex so, in conclusion, if you want to know about the perfect harmony group, the best group, try to identify one of this group. We are the perfect that we blend to each other. We listen to each other. We take corrections. There's no one who talk in a high pitch than anyone. It's all suggestion is taken into consideration. All the correction and implementation is being done. So you'll find that this is where the collaboration stands strong. So, God willing, um, I don't know how to express it. I don't know how to say it to Dr. Nelly. You have changed people's life. You have changed my life. Um, I realized that I didn't know anything. When I started, I had this notion at the back of my head that I know everything. But when I looked at Dr. Nella, what she can do, I had to go back to square one. I have to accept the fact I don't know anything. I have to start to learn. I have to be a follower now. I have to follow all the steps. And to be like Dr. Nell in, in future time. She's kind, she's gentle, she's always tried to solve the problem. Don't worry, no problem. Everything will be all right. And it's taken care of. So, Pat, Anupama? Yeah. The next slide, please. Yes. Peter, thank you for making everything look so nice and so simple and so easy. <laughs> but was it really so easy? <laughs> we did have a few challenges, which we did um, our best to overcome. And the result is here. We had the challenge of time zone. We were like Peter in Jamaica and Sophie in Australia, um, eight members, five continents, covering a distance of 15 hours. Like Peter said, it would be early morning, you would be out of bed and it would be time for Sophie to retire after a very long, hard day. And we would have a meeting in the middle of the day for all of us to meet and discuss. And none of them complain, mind you, none of them complain and everybody co contributed. So all the time zone was a problem. We had to uh, reschedule things around it we overcame the challenge. Multitasking. We are all working professionals. We, are, we all have our personal lives. We all, and in spite of that, we had this very, um, uh, very rigorous courses, I would say, where we, we were doing videos after videos. We were conducting meetings, attending classes, and um, we were managing all of these things. Although it was difficult, it was not impossible. We made it. So, um, it was a challenge we overcame too. Next was technology. Uh, since the pandemic started and people have started working from home, 
um, resources have been, um, you know, put to use a great deal and not everybody has all the resources all the time. Secondly, um, the internet traffic increased manifold. There was a bandwidth problem. There was connectivity problem. The weather played pranks at times with stormy weather and rains uh, and power cuts and everything that could make technology difficult for us. But here again, we overcame the challenge by using technology itself. We used WhatsApp, we used Google Drive, and round the clock. We, we used time zone again here to our advantage, wherein when it was night in India, Peter and Pat were working through the day. And when they were sleeping, we were working. So we, in fact, worked <laughs> 24 by 7. And um, that is how we use technology to beat the technology challenge. The next is environment. Yes, in these present times of the pandemic, when the mood is generally low key, where people are facing so many problems, health issues, economic issues, we are not able to go out, we are not able to lead a normal life. And all this uh, has created a very depressing environment, a very depressing mood all over. But while being engaged in these courses, we never felt it. We never realized it, that we were going through a pandemic. We were so busy and the atmosphere was so positive that we could beat these blues very, very easily. We never, in fact, I don't think we ever mentioned the pandemic during our meetings or through our course learnings. We were just going on and on. And that is how we overcame all these four challenges. The next slide, please. Yes. Through all this journey, right from the LOV course, the MM15 course, the um, manage a Moodle site course and developing our own online course, we did learn a lot. We did take away quite a few experiences, lifelong um, memorable experiences, I might say, and an entire whole family of Moodlers. Um, that is what we have gained from here. And apart from the map stamp group that we have uh, come about and we intend to go on working with, uh, what did we learn? To put it down in black and white, I would say we learned how to use the various learning tools, the various learning platforms like BBB, uh, the Microsoft Teams, the Zoom, Google Meet, and n number of uh, resources and activities that I showed you in the earlier uh, uh, slides that we could incorporate and make learning, teaching and learning interactive. We learned in the collaboration to listen to each other, to um, engage with each other's strengths. Like Peter has a, a strength of digital imagery. He's a wizard. Pat, oh, she keeps us on our toes by uh, organizing everything and putting everything on record. Mushtaq, he has his strengths of leading us and keeping the discipline in the team, I would say. And uh, so each one of us has certain strengths which we use here in a collaborative way to move on. We use the synchronous, asynchronous facility of the Moodle also while planning and learning throughout the course. Like, as I said, we use WhatsApp, we use uh, Google Drive. So whenever we, we could not meet online, we were always connected with each other in synchronous or asynchronous manner. And that is how we learned to learn and to teach all throughout these courses. Support. Support-wise, what can I say? The words fail me because I, have, I don't simply have enough words to praise Nelly for the kind of facilitator she has been. She has never ever said that this cannot be done. We go to her with a problem and she has a solution. She is a constant support, a motivator, um, and she inspires us all throughout the course. Whenever we had a difficulty, we could go to her. She gave us the technical support and of course the learning support. So all throughout we learned how a facilitator should be, what a facilitator should do to make learning easy, engaging, immersive. 
last but not the least what i would like to say here is about everything else what we learned was that diversity is not a problem it is not a hurdle in the way of learning in fact it is a foothold whereby we can take the strengths the uh, the positives from all the different cultures the different social setups and the different professional experiences and we can put it all together and enrich our learning so this has been our overall experience thank you next peter peter Peter. Turn on your mic, Peter. Back, back, back. I'm sorry, my mic was off. Okay, um, where do I start? Do I start from the bottom or the top? Okay, these are the perfectionist group. They're the perfectionists. Hamad, Dr. Hamad, you know he's quiet. He makes sure that everything's there. Um, Pat, Every single note, the, the stick on notes, whether on, on the social media, these are the perfectionists. Nothing come out unprofessional. Everything has to be good, look good, feel good. So, and then every single work that we normally do, it has to be vetted by almost everybody. You have to look through it. Does it work? Make changes. You pass it. There's, there's no tensions. We listen, we talk in the same level of tone. People are open textbook. This is where it brings the collaborations. We collaborate among each other. The collaboration is so strong. Even though the distance is so wide apart, we feel as if we're in one room. Imagine I'm right in Jamaica here. Just now is the morning hours. Meanwhile, most of the time, almost after the, the, whatever, he goes straight to his bed. So it's the opposite. I step out of my bed from after that, I'll be looking for breakfast. So there's a lot of collaborations. Now, <clears throat> in every single thing that you do in life, you need to have a consistent meetings. Meeting will guide the ship where where you're going. Sometime you'll make mistakes. You have to you have to meet to cross check. Even before we started the conference, we had to meet before the conference. This is the level of commitment this group is in. They call themselves the mob stamp. It's not mob stamp for anything. Mob stamp for a reason. That serious set of human beings from all around the world. Now, they're all professional. We have two well-renowned educators with a high education achievement, Dr. Anna Palmer, Dr. Hamad, we need to give a hand of applause to them. They're a wonderful set of human beings. It is an opportunity. It is, I don't know, it's a miracle to work with them, to have them as a mentor. I'm just a little piece of fries. I'm nobody, but when I look at them, it's an honor to be in them. No, to top it up, Dr. Nell is there. It's amazing. In the entire life of mine, I've never ever come across uh, the best educator, the best educational system. Somebody will listen to you, somebody will respond to you. I'll give you one thing. If you email Dr. Nelly now, in less than five minutes, he responds. She doesn't sleep. She does not sleep. She's constantly. So we need to say to her as a group, Dr. Nelly, you need, you need a break for one week by coming to Jamaica and have a good time. We need to tell her as a group, Dr. Nelly, stop for one week, take a break, come to Jamaica. <laughs> okay. So in that regard, I end my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Uh, so to round off, there are these two slides. Uh, we talked about communities already. We have not discussed why they are so important. You see, when you share your worries, they become lighter. And when you share your achievements and joy, they multiply. And according to research, what happens when you are happy is the dopamine floods into your systems and they turn all the learning centers in your brain. So in a nutshell, we learn better. Now, quoting William Arthur Ward, 
the great teacher inspires. So let me share this story with you. Nelly creates a bond with participants through weekly synchronous meetings. She encourages them to interact with each other. That's the secret. She listens and she speaks with kindness and plenty of patience. And by doing so, everyone follows her example, creating the perfect environment for learning. So she has inspired all of us, every soul she has touched. So teachers are here to leave a mark. We are here to make the difference. Thank you. Mushtaq. Your microphone, please, Mushtaq. Your mic is off. Yeah, so after listening to us for quite long time, so you must be wondering, what did we learn on Moodle for Teachers? So this is what we learned. We learned technology, we did hands-on practice, and we are very confident that we are going to implement in our professional life. Apart from technology, we learned platform, okay, which is needed for any teacher or facilitator or a trainer or any academician. So we learned all the major platforms one can have and finally and most importantly collaboration if you think of collaboration you can think of creativity if you think of creativity you can think of critical thinking if you think of critical thinking you can think of making right decisions and that is what we need to do and we need to inculcate the same thing in our students and that is what we have learned so finally Moodle for teachers is a great platform for any professionals who is into academics it could be teacher or facilitator or lecture or university professor or researcher it could be anyone okay this is the right platform to grow professionally so with this i would like to thank dr nelly and we do not have words okay we we really do not have words to thank her okay so we thank you dr nelly we thank our rest of the uh, uh, team members we thank all the participants on Moodle for Teachers. And finally, we thank all the uh, uh, viewers, all the participants for this uh, webinar. Thank you so much. So we are open for questions, please. Yes. Wow. Uh, thank you for bringing everybody back. I am speechless. <laughs> and uh, from watching everything, what I can say is I think the greatest joy for any teacher, and, and we're all teachers, I think everybody here is a teacher, the greatest joy is seeing your learners outdo you, Peter, outdo you, do better than you, a better job at presenting, better slides, better voice quality, better everything. You have practiced so much and I think that's the secret. You've practiced presenting. You've spent so many hours and that's the secret to any kind of change. The more you do it, the better you get. And look at you, your presentations were absolutely amazing. Your voice, everything. It was just the greatest uh, presentations I have seen in a long time and the collaboration that is a dream come true. You've made my dreams come true. And that's why I wanna thank you for making my goals, my aspirations, everything that um, I created. Um, you know, you, your, your, your gift to me is the collaboration. It worked. Whatever I did worked. <laughs> And, and, and that's, that's the gift. That's my present. And thank you. Thank you for the gift, for the present, for, 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 um, words cannot express what I went through and, and I, my mic was off, but I was laughing. You made me laugh with your comments about throwing you in the water. You made me laugh about moodling night and day. You eat, you drink, you sleep, moodle. You made me laugh. You made me cry. <laughs> I cry here. I had to dry my eyes. Uh, you did all that. And I, and I, and I want to thank you. And I want to thank everyone. I think it's really a privilege. And I think everyone would, uh, who's here, 
uh, would say that this was an amazing presentation, an amazing talk. Thank you. Any comments or questions? Yes, as Mushtaq said. I love those slides. You'll have to teach me. <laughs> You'll have yeah, we, to. Are going, we are going to launch presentation skills, effective presentation skills very soon. <laughs> <laughs> the next course on Moodle. <laughs> I'm looking forward to your courses and everyone's looking forward to the wellness course and all the other courses I hope that you'll be giving yes. to the world. Yes, we do. Mops, Mops is here to stay with you, to follow you and guide you, to give you helping hand all the way. But Thank before, you. the mission statement is that to give Dr. Nella one week of absence from the technology, remove the every gadget, send it to the oh. media Caribbean every <laughs> single day. Can I just have my phone wow. <laughs> and my watch? <laughs> You're right, Peter. I love gadgets. You changed my life. Oh, I'm so happy. I, look, I looked at things differently. I was, I don't know how to put it to you. I looked at things differently. You taught me kindness, how to be kind, how to communicate, not to be loud, above that kind of pitch. Always listen. And if you cannot solve it, you'll, you solve it afterward. And thank you again. I wonder why I had to meet you at this time. I could have met you from 2009. You would have been so wonderful. But anyway, God makes things for reasons. But to me, it would have been like the two th when you just started. But I just, like Mustak said, I was going through my social media back up. Something catch my attention. It's a magnetic feeling. Like yesterday, <clears throat> like yesterday session, you could feel the, the natural vibration, the mystic one, the energy transforming, tr transferring, and you feel it. The whole of your presentation, despite the fact I have light on, it was pitch black. All I can do is feel the energy. This is a fact. After your presentations, then I snap out of that realm. Thank you, Dr. Nelly, and thank you again. May thank God you, bless Peter. you all the thank time. Thank you all. Thank you, thank everybody. You all. Thank you, thank you, and thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we go and on forever? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Anan is waiting for her presentation now. That's right. Her. That's right. We've got four minutes. Okay. So <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> okay. 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 Are we going to use the four minutes? Or we are going straight to the meeting. Which one? We've got four okay. minutes to the next one. <laughs> Okay, good. You're um, gonna have a meeting, Peter? Your no, next meeting now? <laughs> no, I was going to bring out issues where we can discuss it. I need, but if we are going for the next meeting, then I will not have the chance to bring it forward. <clears throat> oh, okay. So let's have a meeting after the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right then. Bye.